Hi guys. So since I wasn't able to do my Tag Tuesday on Tuesday, uh, I still really had a really fun um, tag that I wanted to share with you. I found the inspiration on Pinterest. I'll try to remember to link that photo in the description so that you guys can see the original um, inspiration, I guess, that I got. I am going to put my little uh, twist on it, but um, I wanted to do it. I'm just, I was just really excited to do it this week, but because I'm a mom and a wife first, my, my family had to come first on Tuesday. So um, with that being said, let's get started. Let me show you what we have. I'm sure you've already seen the thumbnail, so you'll know what it looks like, but I'm just really excited. So I saw this image um, on Pinterest. It was a cute little tag. Um, I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger because um, I'm going to be using a few extra things. But um, I'm going to be using these Scrabble letters, which I actually got from um, Dollar Tree. I got them from Dollar Tree and I just thought that they were so cute and I've been hoarding them forever. I haven't really used them. So when I saw this um, picture on Pinterest, I thought, you know what? We're gonna make one. The one on the, on the Pinterest um, board said sled and I'm gonna put snow on mine. Also, I went through and I was looking to see if I can find a book that had some type of old image of uh, some type of illustration with kids playing in the snow. And I did find one. I'm trying to see. I thought I marked it. Yeah, here it is. So I did find this one. This one was dated. Let me see when this was published. Uh, 1969. So it's over 50 years old and it's called Ready to Help and has a bunch of different stories in it. And I found this one and I just thought that this was so cute. Look at that one. I think that's the one we're going to use today. So they have a couple because they're playing in the snow. See, here's another one. But I need something that's going to be small enough to fit on my tag so I think this is probably going to be the best one yeah see it's just a three page three pages of them playing in the snow so I think I'm going to cut this one out let me just rip it out well, actually you know what let me get my let me get my cutter because I'm afraid that if I try to rip it it's not going to come out the way I need it to so so this is the image we're gonna use let me just put that aside and I thought let me see I might be able to fix I'm gonna put them on the top towards the center I guess so this has this is six by a three and I'm just wondering if I needed it to be this big. But let me cut this down. I think I'm gonna try to leave this guy on. So let me cut, I'm gonna have to cut his legs off. And then I'll cut this side. see I'm just trying to figure things out and see how I want it yeah that's cute so I think should I put them like this I think I'm going to trim exactly how this is trimmed I think that might be fun. Yeah, 
yeah. So we might put them here. I do want to do a corner punch, and I thought a pretty one would be really cute. Kind of lacy. So let me see. Um, let's try this one. Wait. I need to get this out. This is... Oh, this is a Martha Stewart one. I've had this forever. This is this is when they they sold the Martha Stewart punches and supplies and stuff at Hobby Lobby. They don't do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be so deep. Let me see if I could fix it. <laughs> that looks funny. Let's see. Let me see if I can cut maybe that top tab off. That's so funny. That's just as funny. Okay, let's see if I can cut. Let me get my little my little ruler out. And then we'll see if we can cut that little tab off and see how it looks. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut another I guess that's not too bad. <laughs> it looks weird. Wait, let me see how this one looks. So that and maybe I can just switch it when I cut out the other one. Is, it the, is this the same? No. I'm not sure if I like that one any better. No. Let me just cut another one. Trial and error, guys. But it's fine. Let's see. I think I can do this. So I don't think I need it to be. So this is five and a half. Let me do five. Only because I feel like Five and a half is probably, I mean, six is probably just, just too big. So let's do five by three. Let me even this out because I was kind of using this for something else. Is it even? Okay. So let's try this again. I don't want to have to start over. So let's just round. No, we're going to do the tag punch. I have that right here. We'll just do the my regular. There. All right. We'll round the bottom. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Now, let's see. See how I want to do this and then add snow down here maybe um, do I want to add it straight I think we're gonna have to add it straight either straight or we do it this way and we go down have to cover the guy mm. this is gonna be a little over the top is what I'm thinking okay now I have this but I'm thinking let's see this would be really cute because I feel like it kind of mimics the snow. But I also have this tinsel 
and it's a very very thin tinsel which I really like I might just do this as the little top yeah okay let's do this but I think what I'm going to do should I because what I want to do, I'm just thinking out loud, guys. I want to use texture paste, and I want to use one of my stencils. And I'm thinking this, I think I want to use this to make it look like if it's snow. Wouldn't that be cute? And then maybe put a little bit on the bottom. So let's do that first. Okay. Let me get my sheet here so that I can protect my surface. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and just glue this down. I have my hot glue gun on too because I wanted to uh, make sure that I could glue down the little block, the little block letters, the Scrabble letters, and then also to glue down the um, ribbon, the trim. So let's put this about here. Okay. I did it on blue because I wanted the white texture paste to show. So let's do this. I don't want it to be, to look very, do I? Do I want it to look like very uniformed? I guess we can. Let's grab one of my little spatulas. It's getting a little bit hard on the sides. So let's mix this up a little bit. Okay. I think I am. I'm going to just make it a little bit uniformed. But just a thin layer because we do want it to dry pretty quickly So I'm just trying to like actually put now where I want the other pieces because the, the, the little snow dots, because I don't want it to cover their faces. See, this one might cover his face a little bit, but it's already there. So now going back. And let's see, we'll do a couple over here. See, there's one that's covering like her mouth. So I don't want that to happen. And do here. And maybe one there that one okay I think that's good so let's see how this looks oh cute very cute oh I like that a lot okay let me get my wipe I had a wipe yeah here it is let me just rub this off really quick just so that it's easier for me to wash them later okay I was thinking about putting stars but I kind of like the little snow dots better and let's add just a little bit kind of randomly on the bottom
so just putting this kind of a little trying to give it texture too you don't want it to be super smooth all right just a little bit on the bottom so now let's get our heat gun so you guys can forward this if you'd like I'm just gonna try to warm this up and I'm gonna put this on top because I don't want my I don't want it this is already warped so I don't care but I don't want my Actually, I think that dried pretty fast. Very cute. Okay. Let's put that down. And now we can start decorating it. I am going to put an eyelet so that I can put that tinsel on the top. Wouldn't that be cute? So let's put this. Here. That actually worked out really well because it went right in between. I didn't have to punch out any of the. Ooh, we'll put blue. I didn't have to punch out any of the little dots. And then let me move this. And I think it's this one. Let's put that down there. Perfect. Okay. Now let's put this here first. Our little snowball trim. So I think I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. Put a line of glue. I think I had it on too long. It looks like the glue was burning. And then just put this here. Very cute. And then we'll clip off here. And how am I going to do that? Cute, right? Okay, let's keep going. I do want to add these down the side. Down the side, or should we put it down here? Maybe down here, right? So you can actually see. Because I feel like it's too empty here. So let's just do that. We'll put that here. I think they do have to go pretty close together. Let me see. I don't want it to be super lined because it's it's kind of like a kid's book kind of thing. So I think I'm going to kind of maybe stagger it just a little bit. 
Let me put the W just to make sure that I have enough room. cute let's put this this tinsel I got it's a Martha Stewart uh, from TJ Maxx for $5.99 right now during the holidays they have a lot of this really cute little ribbon and I actually got it more because of the spool I just love that isn't that cool but this is an act an extra bonus I didn't actually think that this was going to be so thin, which is perfect for right now and all the crafting that we're doing. This is going to be so cute. Just trim it. <laughs> and there it is. There is your quick and easy, fun little... Should we... Should we... Let me distress just the edges, just a tiny bit. Because I feel like it looks too white. Let me just do just a little bit. So as I'm doing this, I have an announcement. I finished another set of dangles. Eee! I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be my last collection of the year, you guys, because it actually, it's a lot of work. And again, I did another 20. And this is going to be my winter collection. I'm not calling it winter collection. Um but it's it's for the season so i'm just really excited for you guys to see and hopefully i'll get that out by friday or saturday um because i'm still working on i have the dangles done but now i'm working on the little goodie bags i'm working on the tags that they have to be attached to so i'm doing all of that and so that takes a little bit more time and um, but I will have it out by the latest is Saturday but I'll keep you guys posted so yeah so keep an eye out for that that'll be fun so here it is here is our little retro little snow tag is that too cute look at it up close see <laughs> it's so cute I really like it I think that was a lot of fun all right, guys, <laughs> that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, don't forget all my links are down below. If anyone wants to share any pictures with me of your creations, of things that you've, pro that you've created or you've crafted along with me, um, I have a lot of people asking if they can send me pictures. And of course, you guys, I am, I am so into looking, to, looking at everybody's take on the projects that we make together and it's so much fun to see how you guys do them um so yeah send them to me my emails down below it's sunset crafts the letter n more at gmail.com so um again just go ahead and email me and um i'll be waiting so thanks guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow what's tomorrow thursday Friday. I'll see you guys Friday for another craft with me video. So yeah, because I'm actually filming this Wednesday and this is coming out Thursday. So <laughs> I'm getting my days confused, but that's it. You guys, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.